Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at quizzes and a recently introduced new feature available in the lesson format. So if you're not familiar with using quizzes lesson format, and then click in the banner on the top right hand corner and you can watch my guide to using that. But anyway, let's jump straight in. So we're going to go into a lesson that's already been created and I'm going to start a live lesson. So you've got the typical things you can hide and alter settings. So I'm going to click present. And then what I'm going to do is as that comes up, I will add my join code. And so you can see, I can add it just as a student. So I've got one player in, so I'll join as, as me. So now when you hit start, one of the features that you have available to you, as you can see, there is a live whiteboard. So if you click live whiteboard, you've got some choices. You can change the background image, so you can add a blank background, you can upload an image. So let's save a, a blank one and click save. And then you've got the choice to allow participants to draw. So you click on there, you can see your view, you can see what they're drawing as well. So the student can draw, they can pick up a color and they can draw Uh, we come back in here, you can see there I am as the student drawing and you can also draw as well. So you can select the pen tool, I'm not sure what I'm drawing, just a random shape, maybe it's a cartoon boot, but you've got the idea. So really useful feature, I think it'd be great as a, a connect activity at the start of a session, you could put up a picture in the background and maybe get students to select specific bits. And what's really nice is you get to see what others are doing. So you get to, to demo it, but you also get to see what others are answering. So really nice addition, the live whiteboard feature that allows you to upload an image and share it with the students and allow them to annotate it and you to view it. So it's really nice you get that participant view. So I hope you found the video useful. Thanks for watching and join me again soon for more EdTech videos.